Okay, Ranch Boss here, and what we're going to show you is breaking a hog down after it's been gutted and skinned. This is what we do with your meat. We're taking the shoulders off. We're now going to take the tenderloins out. We are now going to take the back straps off. That's one back strap right there, our two tenderloins, our two shoulders. We're taking out the other back strap. Now we're going to take the ribs off. We'll have a set of ribs, two separate pieces. He makes it look easy, but amateurs don't try this at home. You might have fewer than 10 fingers when you're done. professional always makes his craft look simple whether it's a musician a painter anybody else with special skills they can make it look easy and we try to do the same thing and it doesn't work so easy these guys know what they're doing there's not too many people who can actually take off a set of ribs with a knife generally they'll, they'll, generally they'll use a saw or an axe but uh, these guys have done plenty of Hogs, they they know all the little tricks in the of, of the trade. And the meat's a little torn up there. That's from shooting it other than in the head. And one thing that we always tell our hunters, please shoot the animal in the head. And there's a couple of reasons. Number one, you don't blow up the meat like this. This is this has been blown up and it's wasted. So there was some good meat wasted right here. And if you'd have shot it in the head, you wouldn't have wasted any meat. And sometimes they'll blow up part of the tenderloin or the back strap, and that's just good meat wasted. And number two reason to shoot them in the head is you, in fact, identified that animal as a hog. I can't tell you how many guys have not followed this particular rule, and they have uh, been obliged and obligated to buy an animal worth several hundred, if not a few thousand or several thousand dollars. Now we're going to show you how we disassemble the hams. We cut around that ball joint right in there, and so there's no meat wasted. And this is all done with a knife. No saws necessary if you know what you're doing. And that's the trick is getting around this, this ball joint right here and that socket right there. Put your knife in between the two and you disassemble it with a knife. And cut all the meat off of the, the bone. And this is what's left. And of course, if you really want to save every scrap of meat, there's a lot of good uh, soup meat that you could throw. And, uh, but this is what we've got hanging. We've got two hams hanging. So we ended up with two hams. We ended up with two shoulders. We ended up with two tenderloins, delicious. Two back straps, absolutely delicious. And there's your ribs, what more can I say? And this is the way we disassemble the hogs.